Hi everyone, this is Grayson. Today we're going to be doing a paper collage. I'm going to use this picture of my friend's cat Millie as a main image in my collage. First thing I have to do is cut away the details I don't want. gluing with my glue stick, I want to move the head around and make sure I like where it's positioned. To avoid a mess, I would use a glue stick instead of wet glue. To counterbalance the realism of Millie, I'm going to make some abstract shapes out of different colored paper I found. If you don't have colored paper in the house, you can paint or draw your own. My friend absolutely adores her cat, so I'm going to add a few hearts. I'm working with pretty large scissors here to cut these small shapes, but if this is too difficult, I would go for smaller child size scissors. I'm adding some more abstract shapes to make it a bit more dynamic. When looking for things to add to my collage, I don't just look at paper, I look at anything in my house with a fun design, like this Christmas plate. I like this red cardinal, not only because I like this type of bird, but because it would add more red on the page and not be another heart. One of my favorite sources of collage material are old magazines. I have tons of National Geographic magazines in my house with pictures like this bald eagle. Again, you might need to switch to smaller scissors if you're going to do detail work like this. Once I'm finished cutting, I put glue on the back, position them where I want, and that's it.